Hi, this is going to be the practice problems for lesson 1 through 5 and lesson 5 through 2. Uh, lesson 5.1, uh, Solving Inequalities by Addition and Subtraction. I'm going to be going over the checking your understanding, 1 through number 11. So you can pause this video now if you would like to attempt 1 through 11. I am going to go over the solution step by step. We have number one. My first step is always to write the original equation. X minus three is greater than seven. I'm trying to get X alone, so I'm gonna do the inverse property. Subtract three, the inverse property of subtract three is add three. So I'm gonna add three to both sides. Once I add three to both sides, what I have left over on the left-hand side is an X, and what I have on the right-hand side is a 10. Seven plus three is 10 after I simplified. So that in my set builder notation x x is greater than any value of 10 and here is the graph it is on a number line because i'm graphing one single value the dot here at 10 is open because it is just a greater than symbol and it's going to the right because x is greater than 10 so any value of 11 12 13 and so forth would be valid number two the original equation is 5 is greater than or equal to 7 plus y the inverse property of plus 7 is subtract 7 so I'm going to subtract 7 to both sides once I subtract 7 to both sides what I got left over on my left hand side is a negative 2 and what I have left over on my right hand side is just a y so negative 2 is greater than or equal to y this in my step builder notation is y. y is less than or equal to any value of negative 2. In the graph, in the number line, you will see that at, number, at the value of negative 2, it is a closed dot because it is a less than or equal to. So the number negative 2 is considered. That's why it's a closed dot. And it's moving to the right because y is less than or equal to any value of negative 2. So negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and so forth would work. Number 3. The original equation is g plus 6 is less than 2. That is my original equation. To get g alone, you have to use the inverse property of, pl of plus 6, so which is going to be subtract 6. Do that to do that to both sides so I subtract 6 to both sides once I do that I can simplify what I have left over on the left hand side is a G what I have over on my right hand side is a negative 4 so G is less than or equal to which G is less than negative 4 so in my set builder notation G G is less than negative 4 so it is open at negative 4 and it's going to the left right because G is less than negative 4 so negative 5 negative 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 7 and so forth would work number 4 11 is less than or equal to P plus 4 I'm trying to get P alone so the inverse property of plus 4 is subtract 4 I'm gonna subtract 4 to both sides once I subtract 4 to both sides 11 minus 4 on the left hand side is a 7 which is going to be less than or equal to P. If you put this in the set builder notation, you would write that P, P is greater than or equal to seven. So it is a closed dot at the value of seven on the number line and it's moving to the right because P is greater than or equal to any value of seven. So eight, nine, 10, 11, and so forth would be valid. Number five, the original equation is 10 is greater than N minus one. Add 1 to both sides because that is the inverse property. I'm trying to get n alone. 10 plus 1 is 11 is greater than n, which is left over from the right-hand side. In set builder notation, I would say n. n is less than, or e less than number 11. So it is an open circle on number 11, and it's moving all the way to the left. So that n is less than 11. So any value of 10, 9, 8, 7, and so forth would make this valid. 6. K plus 24 is greater than negative 5. This is my original equation. Subtract 24 to both sides because that is the inverse property. What I have left over on my left hand side is a K. What I have on my right hand side, negative 5 minus 24 is minus negative 29 because a 
negative subtract right a number okay just makes the number more negative okay so negative 5 subtract 24 is negative 29 okay so we say here our step builder notation is k k is greater than negative 29 so it is an open dot on negative 29 and i say k is greater than any value above negative 29 so to negative 28 27 so forth zero so forth k has to be greater than tw negative 29 number seven eight r plus six is less than nine r that's my original equation my goal is to get the variable alone i see two variables one on the left hand side one on the right hand side the idea here is to move the smallest value so should i move the nine r or the eight r i would move the eight r because it is the smallest um, of the um, variable terms subtract eight r to both sides what I have left over on my left hand side is a 6 on my right hand side 9r minus 8r is r so 6 is less than r after I simplified so r in set builder notation r r is greater than 6 so it is an open dot on the number line 6 and it's going all the way to the right because r is greater than 6 so r can be any value of 7 8 9 10 and so forth number 8 the original equation is 8n is greater than or equal to 7n minus 3 that is my original equation again I'm going to move the smallest variable term which is I'm going to subtract the 7n to both sides subtract n to subtract 7n to both sides I get n is greater than or equal to negative 3 so in step builder notation n n is greater than or equal to negative 3 so it's a closed dot on negative 3 and it's going all the way to the right because n is greater than negative 3 so negative 2 negative 1 0 and so forth would be all valid for this inequality number 9 it says twice the number increased by 4 is at least 10 more than the number so I'm gonna break it up into small pieces my first thing is to define the variable so I'm gonna let X be a number okay so that's the noun I'm gonna re be referring to X so it says twice a number twice a number means 2x because when you double something right that's two times that so 2x next it says increase by 4 that means plus 4 increase means the addition operator and when it says at least 10 more than the number the more than is the more than which is the greater than or equal to symbol so it's going to be greater than or equal to x plus 10 so in the inequality it should be 2x plus 4 because that is the first part twice a number increased by 4 then the greater than or equal to x plus 10 um, I'm gonna subtract um, x to both sides and I subtract 4 to both sides and I get x is greater than 6 number 10 3 more than a number is less than twice that number my first thing is to always define my variable let x be the number 3 more than a number means 3 plus x because right more than a number is when you refer to adding that number okay when it says less than twice that number so less than it is the less than symbol twice that twice means to multiply so that is how I got the less than symbol 2x putting this in the inequality you get 3 plus x is less than 2x subtract x to both sides you get 3 is less than x let's do number 11 many of you are aware that you've seen this ride before so this ride a thriller ride swings passengers back and forth okay a little higher each time up to 137 feet so if you imagine this as the maximum height so do you see the back of the um, ride here this is how high it goes right 137 feet so after 30 seconds it is at one at 70 at 47 feet so the question is how much higher would it swings okay the idea here is that you have to think about the maximum height the maximum height is 137 feet exactly like what it says here right 
up to 137 feet so when it says up to 137 feet you want to think about that as the maximum height that is the highest that the ride can go so if we think about that in terms of our inequality x right which is going to be the maximum height has to be less than 137 because 137 is the maximum value the fact that it can take the value of 137 you put the um, the bar here right it can be that so it is less than or equal to okay putting it in the it should be inequality it's not an equation inequality so x plus 45 is greater than or equal to 137 again right this value has to be less than 137 because 137 feet is the maximum height in which the ride can take subtract 45 to both sides and you get x is less than or equal to 92 so after it covers 45 feet it and it can only go up 92 more feet because again the maximum height is 137 Next, we have lesson 5-2, solving inequalities by multiplication and division. Please take this time if you would like to do problems 1 through 9 because I'm going to be showing the solution step by step. Number 1, the Jefferson Band Boosters raised more than $5,500 from sales of their $15 Band DVD. Define a variable and write an inequality to represent the numbers of DVDs they sold. Solve the inequality and interpret your solution. So I'm going to let X be your number of DVDs because I always have to define a variable. But remember, they say that they sold each DVD for $15. So the value um, expression should be $15 times X because if $1 right if one DVD is fifteen dollars okay next when they say raise more than five hundred five thousand and five hundred dollars from sales which means they're gonna raise more than which is the um, greater than or equal to symbol five hundred five thousand and five hundred so the inequality if you plug it in it's five uh, fifteen X is greater than or equal to 5,500 because this represents right the number of band right DVDs and this is the maximum uh, this is their $5,500 from sales so I divide 15 to both sides to solve for X 1,100 divided by 3 is what their fraction would be in simplest form but let's see if I want an original number um, if you plug down your calculator you should get 366 point something but again that wouldn't make sense how can we have 0.643 DVDs you can't have a decimal version of a DVD so I just decided to round up so the band sold roughly X is greater than 367 DVDs that is how much they sold to raise more than $5,500. All right, this is 2. 2, it says 30 is greater than 1 half n. That is the original equation. I'm trying to get n alone, so I'm going to use the inverse property. This is 1 divided by 2, so what the inverse property is to multiply 2 to both sides. 1 half times 2 on my right hand side leaves me with n. And 2 times 30, which is on my left-hand side, will leave me with 60. 2 times 30 is 60. So 60 is greater than n. That's what I get after I simplified. So in my solution, in my set builder notation, I say n. n is less than 60 because right here, like what we said here, it's 60 is greater than n. Okay. This is uh, it in graphed, right? We have an open dot on 60 because we cannot take the value of 60 and it is less than 60 so the values of 59 58 and so forth would work anything less than um, 60 would work next negative 3 over 4 r is less than or equal to negative 6 the inverse property of negative 3 over 4 it's multiplied by negative 3 over 4 that is what I did I multiply by negative 4 over 3 to both sides multiply that and 
notice that when I multiply by a negative value, I have to reverse the inequality. So the less than or equal to becomes a greater than and equal to. The green here indicates the reverse of the inequality direction. What I have left over on my left hand side is an R because after the inver um, after the um, after the inverse property, I'm left over with the identity element, which is just, you know, one. So R is left over on the left hand side. Remember, I flipped it. So I flipped the inequality symbol. So it is a greater than or equal to what I have left over on my right hand side is an eight, a negative six times negative four over three becomes a positive eight. If you would like to see more steps in detail, plug that into your calculator um, and that should be what you get. So in set builder notation, you get R, R is greater than or equal to eight. So R is greater than or equal to any value of eight. So the value of eight, which is why it's a closed dot, nine, 10, and so forth. Any value to the right would make this valid. Number four, you get negative C over six is greater than or e equal to number seven. The inverse property of negative divide by six is to multiply by negative six multiply that to both sides but remember when we multiply by a negative value we have to flip the direction of the inequality so i reverse the inequality direction it was a greater than or equal to now it's flipped it is reversed to a less than or equal to okay what i have left over on my left hand side is a c on my right hand side, it is 7 times negative 6, which is a negative 42. So C is less than or equal to negative 42. So in set builder notation, we say the value C, C has to take any value less than negative 42. So it's closed here at the negative 42 on the number line, and it goes all the way to the left, right? It can take negative 43, negative 44, all the way to negative 50, and so forth would make that valid. And number five, h divided by two is less than negative five. This is the original equation. I have to multiply by two to both sides. Remember, this is a positive value, so I do not have to flip the inequality. What I have left over on my left-hand side is an h. On my right-hand side, negative five times two is negative 10. h is less than negative 10. In Sabino notation, we see h h is less than negative 10. So it is an open dot on the number negative 10 and it is all the way to the left. Okay, we highlight everything all the way to the left. So the values of negative 11, negative 12, and so forth would make this valid. Six, 9t is greater than 108. Again, we have to get t alone. So we do the inverse property, nine times t. We have to divide by nine. So divide nine to both sides. Again, this is a positive value that we are dividing across the inequality symbol. So we do not flip the inequality symbol. So what I have left over is T on my left hand side, which is greater than 108 divided by nine, which simplifies into 12. So T is greater than 12. In set notation, we say T, T is greater than 12. So it is an open, that it is an open circle on 12 and we say it is greater than 12 so it's an open on 12 and it goes all the way to the right so 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and so forth will make this valid number seven negative 84 is less than 7v I'm trying to get V alone, so I'm going to subtract 7 to both sides once I divide 7 to both sides I got um, negative 12 on my left hand side because negative 8 d4 divided by 7 is negative 12 on my right hand side i have just v left over after i do that i put this in set builder notation v we say v is greater than negative 12. so again this is open at the value of negative 12 and it goes to all the way to the right so negative 11, negative 10, negative 9 would make this valid because V is greater than negative 12. Number 8, we have negative 28 is less than negative 6x, which is the original equation. So I have to subtract, I have to divide by negative 6 to both sides because I'm trying to get x alone. Remember, in the process of dividing by a negative, va um, by a negative value, I have to 
change the direction of the inequality. So I reverse the direction of the inequality. It was a less than symbol, now it's a greater than symbol. So negative 28 divided by 6 becomes a positive 14 over 3 if you do that in your calculator. Um, on my right hand side, I just get le x left over. So again, you could have this in two ways. You could leave this in terms of a fraction or decimal. I decided to put both answers right here in set builder notation. I would say that x, x is less than 14 over 3 or x, x is less than 4.66 repeating, of course. That bar up here indicates that the number 6 um, continues, right? So it's 0.666666 because it is a irrational number. So right here, this is a little bit off. I, ch I try to get it to 4.6, but right it's cl more closer to the 5. So I say x is less than 4.666 repeating. So it's all the way to the left. So... Again, it can be the value of 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, right? Anything all the way to the left would make this valid. Number 9, I have 40 is greater than negative 5z. Divide 5z to both sides because that is the inverse property. And note that each time I divide by a negative value I or a negative term, I have to flip the direction of the inequality. So it is a greater than or equal to symbol, it flips to a less than or equal to symbol, okay? Do you see how it flips here? So I reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. What I have left over on my left-hand side, 40 divided by negative 5 is a negative 8, which is going to be less than or equal to z after I simplified. So I say z is greater than, I say z, z is greater than negative 8, so it is a close on the 8, and it goes all the way to the right because z is greater than negative 8. So negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, all fourth, all the way to the right would make this valid. And there you go.